Coastal Conquest Can't even say properly, but that's the best name I could come up with so This is a Middle-aged man me it's Doing middle-aged man things <laughs> Fishing channel YouTube Maybe some camping maybe some cooking I'm gonna be fishing on Erland in the beginning because that's where I've been fishing, that's where I got addicted to this after going on um, the sports fishing clubs meetup four or five years ago and and I'm hooked and I've been trying to learn and I have some previous experience with fishing I fish on a kayak in the summer in fresh water I used to fish as a kid when we got the chance. I'm learning a new skill. And this is a lot of things to take in. So this is like, this is my thinking. I always wanted to make a YouTube series. I basically, I don't watch any TV except YouTube and content creators, which I find it just way more interesting. And I was in the back of my head like, I want to create something. What do I create? I do fishing, I do camping, and it, it like, okay, like it's a sat saturated market, I get that. But my thinking is, you know, we all, or those that are fishing, or just in any skill, you're learning and you're picking up little pieces, and you're using those that fit to you. But like, how, how right are you? And it's not important, because it's, like for me, I'm not here just to catch fish, it's like the whole, it's the whole experience. So, I kind of wanted to go and make a show um, about the stuff that I learned, and then try to interview other people that fish, try to interview biologists, and like kind of put that knowledge to the test uh, in three weeks there's like the annual uh, trout fishing competition so I'm we I always compete in that it's a lot of fun Ooh, we're here at the first I'm gonna show you this place so this is this is Erland uh, we are on the east coast. That's the Blue Jomfruen. It's a little island outside there. No one lives on it. It's just stones. Actually, it's they say it's cursed. It's, <laughs> if you take a stone from it, that you will be cursed. But for some reason, people just send in random stones through the air that they have found to the people that take care of that island. <laughs> To, to kind of break their own curse. I have no idea why. Uh, but, like I said, I'm going to try to make content. I'm going to try to not make it complete babble and bullshit. It's supposed to be entertaining. We're, we're going to learn together. Because I, this is not because I am like a fishing expert. If anything, I'm a pretty, I'm <laughs> pretty terrible. I'm pretty terrible. And uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm terrible at fishing. I just wouldn't say I'm a very lucky fisherman. It seems that I'm better at predicting where the fish is gonna be 
and then other people I fish with catching it. So, so that's that's at least that's a skill, I guess. Uh, but let's let's get let's get dressed. Let's put some gear on. So, I guess we can we can talk a little bit about like how I pick locations. So the normal thinking, or like a good way of thinking about it, is for a couple of days, you, you watch the weather, and you watch the winds, and you see where the winds have been pushing into the coastline. And the thinking with that is, then the water is gonna be pushed in, and when the water is pushed in, then all the little baby fish, all the little creepies, everything is gonna be pushed closer to the shore. And then the sea trout will follow that. And as it's closer to the shore, it's easier for us to catch. And then there's other things. If you're gonna go to a place, especially sandy, dirty places, not <laughs> sandy, swampy, muddy, places and the water has been pushing outwards then the water there is gonna be like we say oh boy or chocolate milk there's not much point fishing in that because the fish can't see the bait and you can't see the fish it's it's yeah so that's like one of the things, but it's not universal because personally, I use an app called DMV. We can look at the, we can put up like a frame here of it and we can like have it here rolling, if I can remember what it showed. But I've been watching it for a couple of days, like I tend to do through the work week. And then the weekend comes, and then the weather turns to shit, and it's like pointless to leave and fish. But now I've been watching it, and it's finally what I call optimal. So it's been pushing towards this part of the Öland that I've been. Yeah, well, it's not that I'm planning go here the whole week it's I go where I think I have a chance of catching a fish so so this week so this week it's been it's been going here so I'm hoping the fish has followed and the winds also are, put, are towards Going towards land. That's a positive thing. So goddamn, I'm already hungry. <laughs> it took so long time to come out. I nearly forgot. I gotta kiss the picture of Jeremy Wade. <laughs> Yeah, there's a bird there. I like seeing a bird. And I like seeing seals also. People always complain when there's a seal, but if there's a seal, there's something for the seal to eat. If there's a bird, there's something for the bird to eat. Look how clear the water is. It's, it's fantastic. It's normally, when I'm fishing the west side, it's like awful. It's so dirty. It's really annoying. By the way, this place here, I don't know how many times I fished here and I equally how many times I've fallen in the water and it hurts to fall here. So I just got some new shoes. I got Sims with the 
with like steel thing under it. God damn, that steel thing was expensive, but it seems it's nice. I feel safer. Okay, let's try to not be so distracted. Clear water. What do I fish in clear water? I f I fish bright colors. What do I fish in dark water? I fish dark colors. So how I learned this and like how I think about this also is there's a lot of light now. So it's no problem for the fish to see like a colorful bait going through all the all the dark tongue like the dark seaweed here. In darker water there's not much, not much light in the water. If there's not much light in the water, then it's really hard for the fish to see that color because you need you need light to see color. That's how I think about it. Another thing I kind of look for, and I always feel like it's a good sign. Like I guess the water is around six degrees. <coughs> Um, really fell in. It's probably really good out there, but it's it's been pushing in from this direction, kind of here. So I'm gonna like one thing people also do as a mistake. You're going too deep. You kind of just want to have the water up to your knees. You get deeper channeling definitely try to fish those I know we had a fish we had a bird not a fish we had a bird there earlier so let's see if we get some nice throws here my dream is winning this fishing competition, getting the prize for the largest fish. What do I get from that? Well, there is some money, but I don't really care about the money. I want the trophy, and the trophy is this beautiful wood carving of a silver trout. And I get to keep that for half a year or a year, I can't remember if I, it's because there's one competition now in three weeks and then there's another competition in the fall but this in the spring is kind of more serious and then I get to keep that till the next the same rock, the same seaweed I can walk out there I want to get that prize and then if I win it once and I'm 30 nine this summer if i win it two more times or three times i get to keep that fish my wife is not thrilled about it <laughs> it's gonna hang up in the kitchen yeah it's the same rock as before i'm really good at finding these holes because I always walk into them before I fish them and then I just hope I remember not to do that again next time I come we're gonna go there we're gonna fish the waves I'm gonna head up this way and we're gonna go back and then I'm gonna fish the we're gonna fish that oh. fish that behind us oh, I'll see you in a second we do the cool YouTube like so the cool YouTube hand thing it's like it's just a couple hundred meters away it's piss to walk and I hate this place and this uh -huh. and this part of the coastline is uh, really annoying because I fall in here 
all the time. It's so slippery. It's like even with, sp with spikes under your shoes. In felt, it's awful to fish here. I feel like this West Indies sand deals. Oh, they're, they're, they've been really, they've been really good to me. And uh, listening to advices from people in the sport fishing club to fish with heavier baits. I started out with like seven and twelve and shit like that. But I'm coming from like perch fishing. Oh, oh, see that? I'm like. Rubber soles, spiked shoes, and I'm nearly dying. Well, can't drown before I at least catch a fish. Oh. So I have something to leave. Under the sea. Oh. Uh, hello. like safe or clumsy idiot like me. Steady calm if I need that. This place. So now we are at the second location. Second location is always good when you're going to fish. It's never good. When you're hanging out with strangers, never go with a stranger to a second location. Unless you're fishing with him, then you might want to take the chance to go to a place that you might catch, catch fish. In the worst case, you are gonna get murdered. But. Kind of looking into the water, so I'm always. Does it help if I put my? I guess he. Not so much. Just get a glare instead. I'm kind of looking for like. Is there anything? Is there anything creeping in the water? This is alive. Warm enough. It started to happen. The bird. It's beautiful. I love this place. Look, it's flat. It's flat. Very shallow. Very shallow here. And then right here. I'm going to take a step. And now I'm in a knee height. It's also pretty high water right now. So we might just actually fish from here and I kind of know how the bottom is here so I'm gonna we're gonna oh, be be together let's, let's change into a pink sand deal let's, uh, let's clean our glasses and uh, yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you back when I'm when you're on the stand so a lot of people use Quick releases. I can probably recommend them because they are easier, 
more user friendly. Less likely to fuck up. But I decided to be a snob. So I'm doing, I guess this is called a blood knot. I call it the 69 knot. That's, that's how I remember how to do it. And awkwardly teach other people how to do this knot. Ah, and there we go. This is what we're gonna try to rock instead. We did natural colors, but in a really dead place, so not the best use of our time. Let's go with some something flashy. Good sign also waves. Let's get the fist with waves. Let's go a little deeper. It's gonna be... I don't know if you can... Well, you can see this either. There, there, here's the drop. Right here is a nice drop. in a row so does it feel like I caught something so I lost it mentally <laughs> so, we're gonna see how what dangerous I live my life I've had this setup for a long time firebox nano tiniest piece of kit so, we got a little gas burner here. Got the Biltema gas, it's like awful that gas. Uh, I just chopped up some onion, garlic, there's some paprika, there's some sausage, some spices, and then I'm gonna just fry this a little bit. I'll throw in a bouillon. I'm gonna throw in pasta and I'm gonna throw in some tomatoes and some water and maybe like you know if you do a lot of camping you save all this soya and chili and all these packages. Mmm. So I'm gonna eat up this and then we're gonna talk for So we are here. At the Neptune's Orca, at this place here. So it's pretty shallow today. So like instead of this, instead of fishing like this, I'm fishing. Uh, work. I'm fishing. Like I'm standing here and fishing. That's fine, I guess. But I didn't feel like there was so much life in the water. Uh, I was thinking this, but if it's so shallow, like this would be probably amazing if there was like a high tide. So I was looking, this is kind of when I want to fish or drive to here and fish this here. But we fished, I, we, I fished this 
like I fished this whole thing before. Nothing, absolutely nothing. Not today, but some time ago. So, if I'm gonna pick the juiciest, it would be this thing here. This is definitely deeper, it's deep here. But like here, it's of, look at these stones, fish to height. Looks way better. So this, or we start heading home, and we. I don't think I can make that actually. What's the other? The is this one could drive all the way out to here. Uh, it's just it's a cloud here, or we head here. drive here and we just fish that for a half an hour because that is flowing in there so this or uh, or this right in front of us but I can't decide so we're gonna flip a coin so 10 or Good stuff. Actually, Carl Gustav. So, kind of strange related. So, are we saying Carl Gustav is this place? And the 10 is a new place. Oh, that. oh let's see. Oh, it landed. Oh, oh, new place. But. Anyways, so this was the first episode. You're getting this glorious view. My shoulders, or my lats, like when we start fishing, like 8.30. Uh, so it's three and a half hours there. And then five hours. So like eight and a half hours we've been out. Raise you up like this, switch cameras. And see how you see it. And I'm gonna shut up. And we're gonna walk to the car and you're gonna enjoy this view. Thank you so much. This has been Carl's Coastal Conquest. No fish. Doesn't matter. Beautiful view. Beautiful nature, beautiful everything. So have a beautiful day, and I hope we get an episode two. And I will put a in between episodes answering comments if we have any. And if we don't have any comments, we're gonna discuss what we're gonna do in episode two or episode three. But like, this is an episode, next one is a Q&A, then we get an episode, then we get a Q&A, so everyone gets to comment. But uh, now I lied to you, I haven't shut up, and now I will be silent. Oh, oh, fish! <laughs> no!